Today we're going to discuss unboxing and installing your Kaon Android box. Um, step one obviously is going to be to open it up and look at the components you have inside. So the Kaon unit itself is going to be this little box. Some of the important features on this box are going to be located here on the back. And again, we're going to walk through the entire install process in just one second, but this is going to be your power port. Um, this is going to be your HDMI port. It does come with the required cable that then we can use to connect to your TV. Other features on this is there is an audio video out on the back, which you could use for composite cables. If you have an older TV, you may not have an HDMI connection, and that might be an option for you. That cable is not included in this box, and you would need to seek that elsewhere. Uh, another great feature about the Kaon box is it does have a hardline connection. So if you already had an existing digital box or you have some Cat5 cable that's already there and hardwired in, this device can be hardwired, um, similar to other set-top boxes or something you've used in the past. Don't fear, though, it is also a wireless device, so you still can connect it wirelessly to your home Wi-Fi network, and in the event that you wanted to move the TV in the future or something else, um, you still, of course, have that option. Other things that come in the box... It's going to pretty much have everything you're going to need. Now, yours are going to be wrapped in plastic to save time. I have already taken mine out. It does require that HDMI cable we discussed, and we'll show you how to set that up. Power supply, and that power cord that we're needing. And then, of course, our remote. As far as which HDMI port to use on your TV, personal preference is going to be king. Um, it's entirely up to you. For me, this TV has multiple HDMI ports, and one of them is located right here on the side. Uh, for this installation, I find that's the easiest to connect to, so that would be my recommendation to you as well. Find the easiest one to connect to. And of course, the next step is going to be power. The device isn't going to function without power. In my case, I happen to have a power strip running here right behind the TV, and so that's going to be my power source for this installation. There is a power button located then right on top of the device. So up to this point, if you have done everything correctly, you should see this welcome screen. If at this point you see a black screen or something else, it's time to go back and double check everything you've done up to this point. The next step is going to be syncing the remote. There are several key buttons that I want to teach you right from the start. The first one is kind of right here in the middle, and it looks like a home, and it is that. It is the home button. That's something we're going to need. The next thing is going to be the select arrow keys. As we're going through different command prompts, you're going to sometimes have to select up, down, or over, and again, that's just these arrow keys. The OK button is right in the middle. In a second, we're going to need that one quite a bit, too. So whenever you're hitting the OK button, you just need to press right there in the middle. The next one that's most important for us right now is this Set button. It's located in the bottom lower left, and that's what it's asking us to do now, is sync our remote to this particular box. The instructions are very simple. It says to hold it for three seconds. And then, of course, we're going to run and press that Home key, which we just discussed a second ago. Um, we have found that sometimes it helps to hold it a little longer than three seconds. So err on the side of too long, and we're going to do that now. Now you'll notice my remote suddenly turned green. That means it's okay for me to press the home button to finish this. Next, of course, I'm just going to follow the commands on the screen. On this next screen, it really isn't necessary for your installation. You can just choose to skip. Again, you want to press your down arrow to get to the skip function, and then the OK button, which is right in between all of your arrows. At this point, you will want to select your home Wi-Fi network. You can select that by choosing your Wi-Fi network's name. At this point, you'd need to enter that password for your home Wi-Fi network. Once you have entered your Wi-Fi password, you will want to hit the Enter key on the keyboard on your screen. Use your select arrows to move over to that location, and then press the OK button in the middle. If everything's done correctly, you should see a screen where it shows it's connecting to your network. This next screen, it allows you to add your Google ID. This is not necessary, and you can add it later if you so choose. I recommend pressing the down arrow and skipping this. Again, pressing the OK in the middle of all your arrows. Terms of service, simply select Accept and press the OK button. For location, keep it selected on Yes, and again, just press the middle OK button. On the screen of Helping Android Performance, again, leave it on Yes and select the middle OK button. 
On this screen, you will want to select the device name. It should be highlighted on the top, and you just press the middle OK button. On this screen, you want to ensure that the apps below are both checked, including the Nextech logo on the bottom. If it is not, use your down arrow to scroll down and then check mark that box. Once you've ensured that these apps are all check marked, simply go to continue and press the middle OK button. Once you reach the Welcome to Android screen, you can use the right arrow to scroll over and see some of the many features that come with the K-On! Android box. You can always use the left arrow or back arrow to review any of the features. At this point, your service should be set up and ready to go. You simply need to press the middle OK button or done to move on to enjoy your K-On! box. If by some chance you're experiencing some, some technical difficulties, please feel free to go back through the tutorial or reach out to your service provider.